In this lecture, we will see how we can create different C++ Node.js add-ons. And what they are, they are a way in which we can call C++ code inside a Node.js project. We will have uh, three parts in this lecture. First of all, we will create a Hello World C++ project. Then we will create some other functions to see some performance parameters. And then we will create a function which takes some parameters and calculates a simple sum. Let's get started. I will create a new, a new folder and I will call it node add-on and open VS Code inside it. Just like we are used, first of all, let's initialize a simple Node.js project right here. So I will say npm init minus y. We have a package.json file and the package that we will be using is called node jip. This is the one and this package will compile C++ code in a way in which Node.js can understand it. So we will install the package node jip. I hope I spelled it the right way. All right, now we have this uh, this package node jeep and uh, let's call it inside our scripts because it's a local package, not a global package. We need to define a script in order to invoke it. And what we, what we will do with this node jeep? Let's um, create a build, a script which is called build. And here let's invoke this node jeep package. So node jeep so gyp and the commands that we will be calling with this node jeep because if we are checking now our node modules you will see that we have an executable which is called node jeep so we can call this node jeep right here with configure and with build very important in order to invoke this node jeep library you need to have python installed so in order to execute this, you need Python installed. I will check this. Currently I have Python 3 installed, version 3.10. So it will work for me. If you don't have Python installed, take a break and install it. I have it right here. So we have installed this library. This library now needs a binding file, a file which tells it what exactly to do. So I will create a new file and I will call it binding.gyp, no, not here. And in this file, we will configure the way node.gyp will behave. This will be just a simple uh, JSON structure. I will call here a targets, which again is an array of objects. And here we have a target name, and this will be a add-on. And we have a sources, which is an array which contain our, which will contain our source code for C++. So our file that we will uh, be working on, let's call it addon.cpp. This is the one. Here we will put our C++ code. So in our binding don chip, we will say that our sources contains with this addon.cpp. All right. This is a very simple binding file. And let's now create this addon.cpp. I will just paste the code, you know, and I will uh, explain it. Let's just first create a very simple hello world function now. So I will include a node and let's just create a very simple hello function. This is the one. It's a void hello function this is the name of the function and what it will do it will return it will return to the arguments this string so when we will execute it we will see this hello world right here as you can see here we are using the v8 function callback info this means that we need to use this and let's see if everything is all right let's now invoke npm run build and everything is okay this will create a folder right here. Okay, I have an error. Let's see what's the problem. All right, it needs to know what isolate means. Okay, 
Let's try it one more time. Oh yes, and now it doesn't know what string is. No problem, we will also be using this V8 library with a string. One more time. And finally, our build is done, but we are not ready yet in order to use this function outside this uh, node file, uh, outside this C++ file. So we need to export this in order for Node.js to be able to use it. And I will call them, I will create a method called initialize. This is the one. And here we will put our hello method. We will call this node set method. And now let's export this. And this is our final version of our simple C++ file. Again, if we are using this V8 local, of course, we should specify this one more time. All right, now we are ready to use this function in our Node.js environment. So I will create here an index.js. And now let's use this library that we just exported. So here I'll say const add-on and we will use it with the require syntax and we will just create the path to the build folder. So here we'll go to the build, release and this add-on.node. So here we will say build, release and here we are using the add-on. All right, and let's just print it. Console log and here we'll say add-on.hello. Let's check the function. And as you can see right here, we are exporting this hello function right here to this keyword hello. So this hello with a lower case must match this hello right here. Let's see if this is working. So here I will say node index.js. And as you can see, we are now executing the C++ code that we just compiled. We were successful in this. Let's now create another function which will do some more computing extensive uh, operations in order to make an idea about the performance between C++ code and Node.js code. So here I will paste another method. Of course, this is available as a resource for you. And let's just call this method sum. What are, am I doing right here? So I'm just making a sum and uh, for 100 million times, we will create and we will make an operation. Let's do this in C++ and then we will also do this with Node.js and see the difference. Here I'm using the V8 number. So of course I need to specify that I'm using it. Let's now build again our function. All right, of course, you don't have to type this yourself. This will be available as a resource for you. Let's now create a similar function right here in our index.js file. So here I will create a similar function. Let's just call this JS sum. Let me delete this. We don't need it anymore. This is our function. And let's also call the sum from the our add-on. Let's uh, register it downstairs. Of course, we are adding a new method called sum. And let's just use the console.time. So here I'll say console time to get a, an idea about the time. And this is the C++. And now let's invoke. So here I'll say console log. Let's also print the result our add-on and let's call our sum and then again console time and now with our C++ and let's do the same with our JS sum. So let me copy and paste this. Now this is JS, JS and let's just invoke here our JS sum. Save this, compile one more time. All right. And let's now invoke this JavaScript file. Before invoking it, what do you think it will happen? It will be, uh, the C++ code will be a lot faster. It will be, or it will be just the same. Let's find out. 
As you can see, the C++ code is a little faster. I would dare to say that we, for these very simple operations, Node.js is also very, very optimized. So in the older versions of Node.js, this C++ time would be a lot bigger. But what advantages do we have when we are using C++ code? Well, not just this, these very simple operations, but, but when you are using with, when you are working with many objects and you want to handle the memory yourself, then C++ will be much faster because you can do things the uh, very right way with pointers and not rely on a garbage collector. For, the, for this kind of uh, operations, C++ would be a lot faster. On the other hand, a C++ code will uh, give you much more access to the internal hardware of your machine, much more access than the Node.js code gives you. All right, we saw some uh, very simple performance benchmarks. As you can see, there are not big differences for simple operations. Let's now create a final function in, in which we will see how we can parse parameters inside a node program. So I will create another function, which is called add. And by the way, uh, all these functions are taken from the Node.js documentation. I'm not uh, making, them my, making them myself. I will paste yet another command, another method. And I will, this is called add. And this will just return a simple sum of two parameters. As you can see, this is getting the arguments. If they are not uh, two, then it will say a wrong number of arguments. Again, if they are both not numbers, it will again throw some error. And then we will finally return this sum. Let's uh, also register this downstairs. So in the initialize method, let's also add this sum, add this add method, I mean build it one more time oh yes i also need to specify that i'm using this exception all right we can use it so in our index to the dot js let's uh, comment this out and let's now see if uh, our parsing of arguments works so here i will say console log our add-on and let's now call the add method let's just call it without arguments see what happens as you can see we are getting an error right here it tells us the wrong number of arguments but if we are putting the right arguments right here let's see four and five as you can see it gives us the sum so everything works as it should so we saw in this lecture how we can use C++ code inside a Node.js project. As I said, maybe for simple operations, uh, the performance is similar with Node.js because it is also very well optimized. But when you are working with memory extensive uh, operations or when you want to access the lower hardware of your machine, then this C++ add-ons are a great solution.